there is a good chance your cell phone could fail you in an emergency situation. Information collected by the FCC shows about half the wireless calls that come into a 911 display do not display an accurate address. News Channel Line's John Madewell just got back from the Hamilton County 911 Center. John, do responders consider this a public safety problem? Calvin, it's certainly one that they have to deal with, and despite all the advances of wireless technology, 911 operators don't rely on it. Instead, they bank on human interaction. However, the wireless problem is at the front of discussion. The FCC estimates 70% of 911 calls come from cell phones. But what happens next is the crucial matter. Hamilton County 911 Director of Operations Jeff Carney says it's a problem many cities, counties, and states face. Here's the breakdown in Hamilton County. Based on a report for the past year, it looks like slightly more than half are coming in phase one, which means we only get the tower location. Uh, and then the slightly less than half or, or phase two where we do get the location. Operators use what's called a rebid button back to your phone carrier. It's supposed to change calls to phase two. It sends a prompt out to the carrier's equipment that says we need phase two location for this. And ideally, that should come within a matter of seconds. Right. We asked Carney to see where his cell phone call to 911 would show up. His call came in as phase one to a tower down Amnicola Highway, right. not his exact location. But then the operator hit the rebid button. Yeah, you can see the telephone that landed right on top that of the That happened because the rebid worked and shifted the call to phase two, which picks up the X and Y coordinates of where you are. But why do only less than half of the calls go to phase two when emergencies hang in the balance? Well, nowadays they're translating a lot of data. So the data process is slowing down the sending of this data to us. And that reinforces the use of a standard practice here at Hamilton County 911. They never rely on technology. We never have. Uh, the first question we asked is what's the location of your emergency? Now, Carney added operators take a caller's word over a mapped address that shows up. But the problem with wireless really rises when, say, a caller can't speak or doesn't know their location. Now, the FCC has advised that rebid times are being delayed up to a minute in some cases because of too much data being carried. Calvin? Thanks, John. The FCC says it is proposing changes that could make it faster and easier to help wireless callers who need emergency responders. One final note. 911 calls from your landline phone automatically show an address.